Welcome back to 6.5 on our special coverage of Computex and the Snapdragon X PC platform. I'm Olivier Blanchard. This is Anshul Sag. And we're here with Nitin Kumar, who is VP of Product Management with Qualcomm for Snapdragon PC platforms. Thanks for joining us. Um, how And congratulations on the launch of the uh, Snapdragon X platform, Elite and Plus. Uh, how's the week's been going for you? Absolutely phenomenal. And thank you, Oliver and Anshul. Thank you for having me. So nice to meet you. To answer your question, the week, the month has been absolutely phenomenal. We are super excited with what we are, what we have announced and where we are headed. Excellent. Great. Uh, I'll start with the first question. <clears throat> um, the performance of the X Elite platform starts with the 45 TOPS NPU. And what was the genesis of this IP and how it was built to be so high performance compared to the current gen of, of compete products. Absolutely, Anshul. Uh, actually, if you look at uh, Qualcomm's history in integrating an AI, dedicated NPU, some form of dedicated AI engine onto our Snapdragon chipsets, we have, I think, about a, maybe eight to 10 years of history of integrating uh, NPU AI capability onto our, onto our chips. We've been doing that on our mobile platforms for several years. And we have learned more about how applications, how users want to use it, what kind of variety of different use cases you can power, enable running on top of these AI uh, engine capabilities. And then specifically on our compute platforms, uh, even our prior generation of uh, a product that we had announced, HCX Gen 3, that was announced, I think, a little more than two and a half years ago in October of 2021 had dedicated 15 tops of NPU capabilities supporting Microsoft Windows Studio effects back, uh, back then, right? And so we learned that AI is a fundamental technology that is going to transform and enable a unique and differentiated experience that will, uh, that will benefit across a variety of user base. So we invested early on in this technology and we put a dedicated 45 tops of our NPU capability on our X Elite and X Plus platforms, which are the only platforms today that can power the new generation of Microsoft Copilot Plus, enabling all those experiences. So because we have had a long history, we have learned a lot about it, we have optimized the engine, we have the tool sets to do that, and we, uh, we designed this capability to completely enhance the experience that you expect out of your PC. And I think that's why we're calling it the PC Reborn as well. Great. Yeah. So speaking of performance, uh, so obviously CPU is, is very important, uh, and the Orion platform is already showing some amazing results. Um, but given that so much of AI relies on the NPU, why was it so important to get this level, this class of CPU into the uh, platform? Uh, very good uh, point, uh, Oliver. I think uh, when you look at uh, PC, it's a very general purpose device. It is a very common device. It's your fundamental device for, for compute capability or whatever you want outside of smartphone. Of course, smartphone is more personal. Smartphone is your individual device. And then the PC as an individual device, you run a different kind of applications. And uh, there are so many different applications across different disciplines, different verticals for different users. And uh, CPU is a fundamental generic processing engine. That's that's just how the, what the CPU is, what the PC PC really is. And uh, then came along GPUs. Now came along the AI as the third shift, if you will, or the third processor along with it. Uh, I think there's a class of application that are, are fundamentally written to take the advantage of the CPU architecture. Just by having the absolute leading AI capability does not necessarily say that if you are uh, not so efficient on the CPU, then it won't qualify as a, as a great PC. CPU is fundamental general purpose uh, compute architecture that's so tied to a PC. So having that uh, top level of CPU performance that Orion CPU delivers was absolutely like a base requirement, if you will. And in our view, it's not just about performance. It's really about performance and power efficiency or delivering that high performance while saving battery life. Because at the end of the day, the PC is a mobile device. It's not like put it on a desk and just kept on the charge and when you take it away, you have like an hour or two of battery life. It needs to last all day. So designing that Orion CPU to deliver high performance because that's what's required by the applications and at the same time to deliver that multi-day battery life was equally important as adding a 45 tops of NPU capability and driving those next generation of AI applications. And so 
<clears throat> we've talked about the NPU, we've talked about the CPU, how those are both really important. And since this is an SOC, there's also a GPU. Yeah. Um, I was wondering if you could tell us about what makes the GPU in the Snapdragon X series different and, and how you are able to you know, extend the life and the, and the performance of the GPU compared to other Snapdragon processors, but also the competition. Absolutely. And as you said, Anshul, like there are the three fundamental uh, processing blocks within our SOC, Snapdragon SOC, right? Uh, CPU, we talked about that, and NPU, we talked about that. And of course, the third one is GPU. We have our homegrown IP, Adreno GPU. We've been designing that since, uh, I think, a little over 13, 14 years uh, and integrating across a variety of different platforms on mobile, our IoT platforms, compute platforms, automotive platforms. And uh, the fundamental way we design our GPUs are really similar to drive that next generation of graphics experiences, but at the same time, keeping it at a much lower power. That's where our unique angle comes in, and that's how we have defined to provide that high level of graphics capability. At the same time, don't burn and don't drain your battery life completely where you completely lose the mobility aspect that's similar to what we discussed for the, for the CPU. To give an example, our Snapdragon X Elite graphics performance is very capable of, or even like in the, I think it's similar to an Apple M2, M3 class of performance in, the, in that same range. And compared to latest Intel Core Ultra uh, platform, Core Ultra 7 class of platform, but when you compare it to Core Ultra 7 class of platforms with an integrated GPU across other laptops, Snapdragon delivers the same level of graphics capability at about half the power. And that's where the true difference is. That's where you can use, actually use that graphics capability and still be able to last a whole day out of, uh, out of your, your GPU. So no matter what your application is for CPU, NPU, or GPU, the fundamental architecture to provide high performance and much lower power is just so inherent to Snapdragon. Right. So changing gears a little bit, uh, Qualcomm obviously has its roots in connectivity uh, yeah. from a long, long time ago that hasn't changed. Uh, so how do you think about advanced connectivity, Wi-Fi, cellular, uh, sensors and cameras differently for PC than you did for mobile? Absolutely, that's another another great question. Outside of, I think, touching the processing block, CPU, NPU, GPU, another key area of differentiation for us is, and we sort of bucket all of them in calling it as providing a much improved uh, user experience or smart user experience. But when you look behind the scenes on what that term really means, it's across a multitude of technologies, including connectivity with Wi-Fi, uh, sensor technology, audio technology, uh, camera technology as well. So in terms of Wi-Fi capability, on both uh, Snapdragon X Elite and X Plus class of systems, we support the absolute latest advanced uh, Wi-Fi 7 technology, our Fast Connect 7800 platform with uh, high band simultaneous support. That's the absolute leading technology. I think it provides uh, about 5.8 gigabytes, gigabits per second uh, speed. That's absolutely phenomenal. Latest gen with the Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth 5.x support with Bluetooth LE, LE support as well. Uh, when you look at it, it's again tying back to that mobility experience because you're not always connected to an Ethernet connection on your laptop, right? You want to be everywhere, like we are traveling here today at Computex in, in, in Taipei. We all have our laptops. We're connecting to a, a fast Wi-Fi here or in the hall or elsewhere or at the airport. You want to be absolutely at the latest edge of the Wi-Fi to get that connectivity angle going. At the same time, we of course support the latest 5G modem technology as well on the platform that can get you up to 10 gigabits per, per second download speed, the most advanced 5G option available. Uh, along with that, to the other question that you asked in terms of our sensor technology, our audio technology, and our camera technology, that's another like area where we are disrupting on what you get out of your PC. If you look at uh, smartphones have evolved significantly on the camera capability, not only from a resolution or a megapixel resolution capability, but across a bunch of other use cases that are built on, on top of what you can do with your camera in terms of background effects, video effects, bokeh effect, uh, image quality improvement, noise cancellation, noise reduction. And uh, we have all that fundamental technology on our smartphones and we have brought that onto our 
uh, PCs as well with Snapdragon X Elite, fundamental core camera technology derived from our Snap uh, smartphone platforms. And you can see that we support uh, MIPI based cameras that can allow a much improved that video call experience that we're all like probably several hours of our spending that, uh, be it Zoom or Microsoft Teams, we're on the camera. So uh, let the camera do its job and even make me look a little pretty on the uh, on the camera and uh, not a USB-based camera. But maybe not too early. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I guess one of the questions I had was, you know, we have seen a lot of uh, different OEMs launch with, with your Snapdragon X Elite platform. And I was wondering if you could tell us how partners are reacting to the Elite and maybe talk about uh, what kind of different chassis designs we're seeing and, and how they're differentiating on design. Absolutely, Rachel. So I think uh, uh, last week or a couple of weeks back, OEMs announced platforms based on both X Elite and X Plus platforms. And a common theme across uh, across all our all our OEM partners and all our devices that were launched based on Snapdragon were uh, innovation not only on the silicon and the capability that the silicon provides, but the fundamental power efficient architecture allows our OEMs, allows our customers, allows the design team at our OEMs to be more innovative on how they want to use the design. Because the fundamental architecture doesn't warrant you to have maybe multiple fans or a much longer battery life or a thermal pipe or, or, uh, or a significantly like more invested in terms of thermal architecture. It opens them a variety of uh, variety of degrees of freedom in terms of how the designer wants to leverage this better capability of the Snapdragon architecture and to do it in terms of a thinner design, longer battery life, uniqueness in terms of chassis, uniqueness in terms of form factor uh, creativity that they can enable with their architecture. So when you look at what was announced, almost all of the devices uh, like were really thin, nice, sleek looking, and if you look at the reviews that have already been published, because the designs were, were publicly uh, publicly shown, that feedback has been absolutely phenomenal for us. And uh, again, it's it's tied back to the fundamental architecture advantage uh, that we bring onto the table uh, to provide that form factor advantage. Right. Well, thanks so much, Nitin. Uh, that's pretty much all the time we have, unfortunately. Uh, but stay tuned, there's plenty more content coming from our special coverage of Computex and the Snapdragon X PC platform sort of post-launch. Um, so hit that subscribe button, get into our community, and we'll see you soon.